Welcome to our daily reflection. Today is Thursday the 22nd of February. There used to be a Prudential Building Society advert on television which used the phrase, I want to be, to say that whatever you wanted to be, you could be with the Pru. Various shots of a wide variety of people were included in the advert, including a retired man saying, I want to be secure, a young man who was clearly into the environment saying, I want to be a tree, and finally a picture of a traffic warden walking down a road, wet and soaked to the skin, saying, I want to be loved. We all want to be loved. But what is this love? Well, language is a bit impoverished when it comes to love. Whether you're talking about loving ice cream or cricket, music, your spouse or God, the same word in English has to do. But the New Testament has three words for love. It's been said that eros is all take, philos, give and take, but agape, Christian love, is all give. It means a love that is spontaneous and unlimited. It isn't loving people because of their attractiveness, their gifts, possessions or abilities, but loving people simply because of who they are in all their uniqueness. And it goes further than that. It loves irrespective of response. A love that loves the unlovely. A love that in every situation seeks the other person's highest good, irrespective of what they do to us. Here's a man shot at by a youth and badly injured. The youth spent 12 years in prison. The victim visited him regularly and now the sentence is complete, has taken that young lad into his home. There's a toughness in love. If you're looking for love in your life, know that always God loves you. No matter what you do, the love of God is constant, faithful and never changing. It's unconditional, no strings attached. And with the toughness we see in God's love, we are then called to mirror that toughness as we deal with others. Even when your neighbour annoys you, even when the colleagues gossip, even when the family lets you down, even when you feel isolated, alone and lost. Know that God's love is with you and he will give you the love you need to go on with loving others. Eddie Askew, the former director of the Leprosy Mission, tells of the time when he moved and they had to find a plumber. It wasn't easy, but eventually Jim turned up, who was competent, conscientious, and a real conversationalist. Jim told Eddie Askew a lot about his family. There was a teenage son, tragically hit by MS, and a wife Jim obviously adored. She's a great woman, my wife, said Jim. And we've got a good marriage. In 30 years, she's never run out of coffee or toilet paper. There are many ways of showing love. The adverts say diamonds are the best. Others suggest flowers, a kiss or a help. But there's also the coffee and toilet kind of toilet paper kind of way of showing our love. The faithful, quiet work that keeps relationships going and a home patiently filled with good things. Love is still at the centre of the universe, still available. And God, who is love, is still wanting to pour it into our lives. Do you ever think you are unlovable? Or that God Almighty must stay away from you in your messiness? God's love is unbounded. There are no barriers to it. Nowhere is off limits. And that includes you. Let us pray.
Loving God, you are loved through and through and we worship you. Teach us how to love you without counting the cost. Help us to extend your loving kindness, even to those who wrong us, this day and always. Amen.